Have you ever been ghosted? Things seem to be going great, then suddenly she disappears without any explanation, leaving you wondering what went wrong. Or maybe she's hot and cold. One day, she's all about you. The next day, it's complete silence. It's frustrating, right? Let's be real. Women play games. And if you don't recognize these games and know how to handle them, you'll be stuck in a never-ending cycle of confusion, frustration, and heartache. But here's the thing. It's not your fault that these games exist, but it is your responsibility to outsmart them. Today I'm going to show you 10 fail-proof strategies to outsmart any woman who's playing games with your heart. And no, this isn't about manipulation. It's about mastering yourself through stoicism. You'll become the calm in the chaos, the man women can't control. So get ready, because these strategies will completely change the way you handle relationships. Before we get into the 10 ways to outsmart women, let's clarify one thing. Why do women play these games? Why do they ghost, breadcrumb, or leave you hanging emotionally? The truth is, they use these games to test your emotional strength. They're trying to see if they can manipulate you, control you, and make you doubt yourself. And if they succeed, it's game over. You'll lose their respect and you'll be left chasing their approval. But here's the good news. You don't have to play their game. Instead of being a pawn in her emotional roller coaster, you're going to take control of your emotions. Through stoicism, you'll learn to stay calm, composed, and in control no matter what she throws at you. This isn't just about winning with women. It's about taking control of your life. It's about refusing to be emotionally manipulated and standing strong as a man who knows his worth. If you're tired of the games and ready to reclaim your power, stay with me. These 10 stoic strategies will transform your approach to relationships. 1. Detach emotionally. The cornerstone of everything we're about to discuss is emotional detachment. This doesn't mean you stop caring. It means you're no longer driven by your emotions. Most men panic when a woman pulls away or starts acting distant, immediately overthinking the situation and scrambling to fix it. Here's the reality. Women test your emotional strength, and if you chase after them desperately, you're failing that test. Instead, you need to remain emotionally detached. Whether she's texting you nonstop or ghosting you for days, your emotional state should remain unshaken. You are calm, centered, and grounded, no matter what. The more you master emotional detachment, the more attractive you become because women are drawn to men who remain composed, no matter the situation. This kind of strength is magnetic, too. Recognize behavioral patterns. Women are creatures of habit, and once you start paying attention, you'll begin to notice predictable patterns in their behavior. Understanding these patterns is crucial because it allows you to see her intentions clearly and take control of the situation. When you can predict the game, you can outsmart it effortlessly. A common pattern is the classic hot and cold behavior. One day, she's giving you all her attention, and the next, she's distant and unresponsive. This push-pull strategy is designed to make you chase her. The mistake most men make is reacting by trying harder, blowing up her phone or wondering what they did wrong. But you're not like most men. You'll recognize this as a test of your emotional control and remain calm. By not reacting, you flip the script. She starts chasing you. Remember, whether intentional or not, these patterns are a test of your confidence and emotional strength. Stay grounded and you'll turn the game to your advantage. 3. Set boundaries early. Setting boundaries is essential for commanding respect and protecting your emotional well-being. If you don't establish boundaries from the start, you signal to her that it's okay to walk all over you. A lot of men are afraid to set boundaries because they fear they'll drive women away. But here's the truth. Women respect boundaries because they show you value yourself. Setting boundaries isn't about controlling her, it's about knowing what you need in a relationship and clearly communicating that. For example, if she cancels plans frequently or leaves you hanging without explanation, don't just brush it off. Calmly address it by saying, I've noticed you've been canceling plans a lot. I value consistency, so if you're not interested in making things work, that's fine. But I won't tolerate this back and forth. You're not being confrontational or emotional. You're stating your expectations with confidence and when you do this, she'll either step up and respect you or move on. Either way, you win because you've shown you won't settle for anything less than you deserve. 4. 
Stay calm under pressure. Nothing is more powerful than staying calm when under pressure. Women will often test you by pushing your buttons, bringing up an ex, flirting with other guys, or making passive-aggressive comments just to see how you'll react. Most men fall right into the trap, losing their cool. But you're going to approach these situations with stoicism. When she tries to provoke you, remain composed and completely unbothered. Here's why this works. When you refuse to react, it disarms her. She expects you to get angry or jealous, but when you stay calm, you send the message that she can't control you. For example, if she mentions her ex saying something like, my ex used to take me to this great place, or she's trying to make you insecure. Most guys would get defensive or jealous, but not you. You'll stay calm and respond with something like, that's cool, sounds like a nice spot. You're not giving her the reaction she's looking for, and that unpredictability makes you powerful. Five, focus on long-term goals. Many men get caught up in short-term emotions, seeking immediate gratification in relationships. They crave her validation, attention, or the quick fix to a conflict. But stoicism teaches us to focus on the long game. When you shift your focus to your long-term goals, whether it's building your career, working on your fitness, or growing personally, you stop obsessing over the daily drama. If a woman starts pulling back or acting distant, most guys panic and chase harder. But you're different. You're focused on bigger things, and that mindset shift makes you less reactive. You're no longer defined by her attention because you're busy building your empire. This kind of focus makes you more attractive because women are drawn to men with purpose. You become the man she's chasing, not the one constantly seeking her validation. 6. Avoid emotional retaliation. One of the biggest mistakes men make when dealing with women's games is emotional retaliation. She flirts with another guy, so you flirt with another girl. She ghosts you, so you start playing hard to get. This approach never works. The moment you start retaliating emotionally, you've already lost. Why? Because you're letting her control your actions. A stoic man doesn't retaliate emotionally. If she ghosts him, he doesn't chase after her. He simply withdraws his attention. If she tries to make him jealous, he doesn't take the bait. Let's say you're at a party and she's flirting with another guy right in front of you. Most men would either get angry or start flirting with another woman to make her jealous. But you're not most men. You'll stay calm and not engage. When you refuse to react, you show her that she doesn't have power over you. 7. Communicate clearly and firmly. Clear and firm communication is essential in any healthy relationship. Most people either avoid difficult conversations or approach them with too much emotion, leading to more drama. A stoic man, however, communicates his needs and boundaries calmly and confidently. If a woman is playing games or acting distant, don't bottle up your feelings or blow up at her. Address the issue directly, but calmly. You could say something like, I've noticed you've been acting differently lately. Is there something we need to talk about? You're not accusing her or raising your voice. You're simply opening a dialogue from a place of calm confidence. This approach disarms her because it shows you're not emotionally reactive or needy. You're taking control of the situation with calm, firm communication. 8. Prioritize your well-being. At the end of the day, the most important relationship you have is the one with yourself. If you're constantly stressed, anxious, or feeling like you're walking on eggshells, it's time to reevaluate what you're allowing in your life. No person, man, or woman is worth sacrificing your peace of mind. When you prioritize your well-being, you naturally become more attractive, not less. Women are drawn to men who are grounded, who know their value, and who refuse to let anyone destabilize them. If a woman's behavior is negatively affecting your mental health, take a step back. Refocus your energy on things that make you feel good, whether it's hitting the gym, working on your goals, or spending time with supportive friends. When you stop prioritizing her and start prioritizing yourself, one of two things will happen. Either she'll start respecting you more, or she'll leave. Either way, you win. 9. Practice patience. Patience is a rare and powerful tool, especially when dealing with women who play games. In today's world, everyone wants instant results, but the man who practices patience stands out. If she doesn't text back immediately, don't freak out. If she cancels plans, don't lose your temper. Stay composed and let things unfold naturally. 
When you practice patience, you show that you're not desperate for her attention or validation. This makes you a challenge, and women love a challenge. Practicing patience allows you to play the long game, making calculated moves that lead to lasting success. 10. Know when to walk away. This is where things get real. The ability to walk away and mean it is one of the most powerful moves you can make. Not every woman is worth your time or energy. If she's stringing you along, playing games, or disrespecting you, you need to be prepared to walk away, not out of anger but with quiet confidence. When you walk away, you show her that you don't need her validation and that your self-respect is more important than her approval. Most of the time when you walk away, she'll chase you. But walking away isn't a tactic to manipulate. It's about knowing your worth. If she's constantly flaking on plans or disrespecting you, simply say, I'm not interested in this back and forth. If you're serious, let me know. If not, I'm moving on. And then, walk away. No follow-up texts, no checking her social media. Focus on yourself, your goals, and your well-being. Sometimes walking away means walking away for good, but when you walk away, you've already won because you've kept your dignity, self-respect, and peace of mind. There you have it. 10 powerful, practical, and life-changing ways to outsmart any woman playing games with your heart. These aren't just strategies for relationships. They're strategies for life. Master emotional detachment, set boundaries, stay calm under pressure, prioritize your well-being, and know when to walk away. When you do, you become unstoppable. Remember, this isn't about manipulation. It's about mastering yourself. When you become a man who controls his emotions, his time, and his life, you naturally attract women who respect you. But this is only the beginning. Keep applying these principles and you'll continue to grow and thrive. If you found value in this video, please support the channel by subscribing or joining the channel memberships. Let's create a community of men who refuse to be manipulated and who take control of their lives.